Hello, welcome to the Jazz Ranch. Hipsters, flipsters, and finger-popping daddies. And also groovy chicks, you know. I got that expression, finger-popping daddies, from the great Lord Buckley, one of the original hipsters. Now, I have a special program for you this evening featuring the genius of Sir George Shearing. Now, he's a great arranger and, of course, a genius-level pianist. And, there, and he was made a sir by, honored by the Queen of England. Also, Paul McCartney is a sir. You know, Paul McCartney's pretty good, too. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be playing an arrangement that George Shearing did on one of his Concord recordings. And it's an arrangement of Mac the Knife by Kurt Weill. Now, we've normally heard Mac the Knife played as a swing tune, medium tempo swing tune, in major key. But George Shearing plays it in a minor key, a relative minor, and plays it as a ballad, and he also plays the verse. So we haven't heard this kind of an arrangement for this song. It's pretty unique. I'm going to play it for you and then talk about it later on. So here we go now with Mac the Knife. I have to say, when I heard this recording by George Shearing on Concord, and I heard it just recently, a friend gave me this CD and I listened to it, and I was knocked out by this because I'd always heard Mac the Knife played as a swing tune or as a vocal song. To hear it played moodfully like this, I'm thinking maybe that was the way the composer wrote it. And if you know that, please write to me. But at any rate, it's, it's, he's playing it in the minor key rather than in the major key. So he's playing in the relative minor. We're used to hearing it like this. It's the same thing, but he's going in the minor key. 
So maybe that was the original way it was conceived. And I'm sure it was because, you know, George Shearing was a master, one of the great pianists and masters of all time. And uh, this is a great arrangement because it utilizes a lot of different techniques. You have to have the left hand, you have to coordinate the hands, you have to play it with expression, with dynamics, with pauses and that sort of thing. And with retards, it has a lot in it that you can learn. And if you read music, it'll be very helpful because I've written out this, written it out for you. I took the time to write this out and learn it. George Shearing did more with it than you hear here. So you really want to pick up his recording, hear all the things. He did some interesting things in the middle. And also, you have a section that you can improvise on, and then he repeats at the end the original theme from the verse, and then it retards. I'll show that. Depending on the minor. So at the end of the first section, you have an A minor to a G major with an A in the bass, so like you have that kind of thing happen. And at the second chorus, he improvises over those chords. So you could extend that improvisational section over this, this vamp, which goes A minor. Now the scale is, so it's, that's A Dorian, which means it's a G scale starting on A. So a G scale starting on A. Like there, you have that, so. You could extend that improvisational section. I didn't do that because I didn't want to make this too long. But I played mostly what he played. Now, you can get this recording on, on Concord Records. I really advise you to get a hold of the recording to hear how he did this because it was beautifully done. Uh, solo recording by the great George Shearing. So we'll uh, continue now with the last section. I realized that the popular versions of Mac the Knife were always um, Bobby Darren, you know, swinging and swinging it, swinging the song. All the times I've ever played it in bands, it was always a swinging tune and medium tempo. And to, to hear it played this way in a minor key, relative minor, by George Shearing, it's so interesting. And yet it's the same song that we think of as a pop tune. This has now all of a sudden become a classic. And it's in the minor key, and it's very moodful. I love that. I love what he did with it. And it's beautiful chording, you know, kind of the emotion with the chords and so on, and like having an improvisational section in the middle and all the expressiveness of it, you know, building the dynamics within the phrase and also like holding back, you know, and shaping that melody. And then at the end, he goes back to the, the what we could hear as the verse might be the original verse that was written or composed for the song. If you know that, write to me. And then, of course, at the end, the retired. And then ending in minor. It's rather somber, but it's beautiful in its mood. Signing off from the Jazz Ranch. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video of Mac the Knife and the great George Searing arrangement. Now, I want to let you know that you can download this score on the link below the video. You also want to check out my book. I have a link to that and a video on my book. Also, the link to Summer Keys, where I teach in the summer in a beautiful town in coastal Maine. So please check out those links. And until next time, I'll sign off in the words of my great friend upstairs, Hermie Dressel. Swing loose, and we'll see you next time around. Bye-bye.